What's going on guys, Stefan here. Before we get into today's video, I just want to officially announce that on Friday, January 4th, one week from when today's video airs, the speed program will be live on my website at www.mullerperformance.com. Here's a little bit of a sneak peek of it. It's not just an eight week program. This is gonna kind of be like an actual ebook where I go in depth on all the different aspects of speed, break everything down for you, give you an entire section on running mechanics, as well as the actual eight week program. It's gonna be three days a week and I'll have form tutorials for every single exercise in this ebook. But I want it to be affordable for everybody. So it's gonna come out at a starting price of $10 and then after the first week go up to $15. I can't tell you how many hours of work I put into this, but I am very excited for it and I'm very excited for you guys to get it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Muller Performance to get the latest updates and more details that will be released as the week goes on. But let's get into today's video. I'm gonna head off to the gym, do a little bit of a session, and then talk more about the title of this video later on. So it's that time of the year in England where it rains almost every single day and the sun isn't going to be seen for months so all the fields are constantly wet and muddy. So we're on the tennis court today but uh, well, let's get into it.
All right, now that all my training is done, let's get to the main topic of this video, uh, which is probably why you clicked on it. And that is how all this came about in England and how I ended up signing a contract over here. So to start, I've been playing soccer since I was about four. I'm only gonna go over the last eight months or so. So just be aware that there were 18, 19 years of events that all led up to this point. But, uh, but let's just focus on how I came to England in the first place. So about eight, nine months ago, I honestly never really expected to come to England. It was never something I was really pushing for. So all of this started probably in May, about seven, eight months ago. I had contacted somebody who had actually reached out to me first the year before while I was playing in Germany, just asking what I was up to, what my plans were going forwards. Um, didn't really think much of it at the time. I knew he had some, some contacts, but uh, but I was really looking to stay in Germany. I was looking to pursue some options there. But some time had passed. Um, I got a hold of him again in May, um, just touching base. And this was right after last season in England ended. So they were, all the teams were on a break. Uh, Preseason was starting up in early June. So, um, so he was kind of pursuing some options here. I had a highlight video that's on my YouTube channel now, actually, if you go back a few videos. I think it's the first video I posted, if you want to check it out. So I sent him my highlight video, my CV, and it was it was about early July at this point, so less than a month until preseason would start, and I would have to be over here. He was contacting some clubs. Um, I was supposed to have some trials set up that were like 90% certain, at least in my mind, but then a couple weeks before preseason would have started, the money wasn't there things were just falling through and and just I didn't have anything certain so it was about two or three weeks before I thought I was gonna be in England and all of a sudden I had no options over here but um but mentally physically I was preparing to be here in those two or three weeks so I just took it upon myself and pretty much just emailed all the clubs I could I could get a hold of I sent them my my CV I sent them my highlight tape Luckily, some clubs got back to me. I figured not a lot worse since I'm an American trying to play in England, which is which is pretty uncommon. But uh, but I had a German passport, which made which made things a lot easier to come play over here. So so some coaches were willing to give me a shot. It's always a big risk bringing in a foreign player who you have no idea about, never heard of. But uh, but luckily, I. I piqued some interest of some teams and Southport was one of the clubs that invited me in for preseason. So I think it was actually less than two weeks before I actually flew over to England for preseason that the coach contacted me, he emailed me back and uh, just invited me down for, for a trial for preseason. So all of this came about really quick and uh, it was a hectic month trying to trying to get something set up over here. Uh, things fall through all the time, it's, it's just how the soccer world works. but. But, uh, but all this came about just through cold emails, you know. But luckily it worked out here in England. It was about two weeks after, after I arrived. Club signed me to a contract and, uh, and here I am. But I never had an agent that set up a trial for me or got me a contract. It was all just emailing clubs of my own and, and hoping and praying that someone got back to me. But uh, I've been doing that since college with, with clubs back in the states overseas but pretty much every opportunity that I had whether it was a trial back in the states or even getting to Germany or coming to England has all just been through my own my own connections and just emails lots and lots of emails but it just goes to show there are a million and one ways to get a chance um, from open trials to combines to phone calls and emails to agents working on your behalf. There's uh, there's lots of ways to get a chance. It just depends on the right time, right opportunity, and if and if someone sees something in you. But that's my, my short little story of how I came over here. Again, that's only the last eight months or so. But believe me, uh, at least in my mind, I think I have quite an interesting story that I think would interest a lot of you guys and I'll definitely talk about more in the future not sure when but um but there's a lot more to come on uh on everything that's happened so far but I hope you guys enjoyed 
If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more videos in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.